I, I need you. I need you for a video. <laughs> I have an idea. Right. So like, take this thing, keep it straight. I have an addenda, addendum? Addendum. Something to attach to our uh, Witness the Fitness video. Okay. Okay, so grab this thing. Where did you go, Corey? We're at the back. Okay, so uh, this is for Gail. A lot of you remember Gail, who still technically works. If you switch it, I think it'll get weird. There you go. Okay. Um, Gail, listen, so Gail still works here. Many of you haven't seen her for months. It's because her husband took a job in Illinois. So she's still behind the scenes managing, you know, billing and all, all that stuff. So hopefully she's doing a good job for you. But she reminded me last week that when we were doing um, stretches, I did not show you um, what we call the ATC protocol. ATC stands for, with Nicole here, she'd say, activate the core, because we say it so often. Um, but, so this is a, a little tool that we picked up a couple years ago. It's called a core coaster. Can you see that? Yes. Can, can you read it? All right. <laughs> This is called a core coaster. We get these off of Amazon. Uh, during COVID, when everybody was buying home exercise equipment, these were a little hard to get. They should be easy to get now. Uh, you can get uh, one of them for about 20 bucks. And I, they used to sell a pair of them for like, I don't know, a little less. Okay, so anyway, this has been a game changer for uh, exercising the core. So if you, if you saw that video last week about uh, daily stretches, I'll go through it for you quick. Uh, start with that. I start with this, this child's pose, uh, go into Cobra. We do the uh, sideline exercise for the gluteus medius. Um, this particular one arm, one leg reaching pose, uh, push-ups while I'm here, because you know, why not? Um, but then one of the last things I usually do is I'll grab this core coaster. Um, and this is intended to activate some of the, the deep stabilizer muscles in the, in the lower back. Um, you can start out really simple with this. This reminds me of the scooters we had in elementary school. We all ran our fingers over with. Uh, it's a little like that. But um, so what I'll do with this is I'll have people, um, or you've seen the the ab wheel, you know that. You, you've yeah, seen I think that, right? It's, yeah. So it's got a stick through it. And it's like one wheel. Well, that's great if you have strong wrists and elbows and shoulders. But like a lot of our patients, you know, they've got injuries there, so they can't do that. So this is awesome because you can just put your forearms on it. So I usually have people kind of start in this sort of kneeling pose, forearms on the core coaster, and then I just have them move out about 12 inches and then bring it back. And what's cool about this thing is once you get out here, the only way back is to activate your core. You can't really just do it by using your arms. Um, so you have to activate those core muscles to bring it back to the starting position. And so I'll usually have people start out doing, you know, about eight or 10 of these in a very narrow range of motion, working up to where they can extend all the way out, you know, and eventually, you know, this gets to be no big deal for them to extend all the way out. Um, you can go out in different directions, which can activate some different muscles. Uh, if, you, if your wrists and, and arms and shoulders are strong, then you can use it this way too. And so um, this is what we call the ATC, Activate the Core Protocol. But like I said, this is called a core coaster. We get them on Amazon. Um, so a lot of you have tried these. A lot of our patients have done this. In the beginning, you think, I don't know, you know, can I do this? Is it going to hurt me? Uh, but if you start slow and you're careful and you're super diligent about it, this can be a game changer in terms of like stabilizing your lower back. So this is for Gail. She said, remember to do it. And uh, so check it out. It's, it's been good for me.